Hello and welcome to another episode of Make Me A Racing Driver. Now, being quick in a car is one thing, but one of the elements to being quick is of course being fit. And as such, I'm here today to see my friend James at the Body Clinic in Kent. Now he trains a lot of Le Mans winning and championship winning racing drivers. So I'm here today to undergo a bit of a fitness program to find out if I've got exactly what it takes to be a racing driver and in theory to see if I can become fit enough to do so. So let's see how quickly we become a puddle of sweat on the floor. Hi, I'm James Burrows. I'm a conditioning coach and I specialise in driver development. Uh, today we're going to be doing a training session with Tom. We are here at my gym at Body Clinic and we're going to be putting him through the paces, getting him ready for his race. Right, so James, cross training is the first one then. Yep. Um, now this is the first in a list of exercises which is going to put me a on long the floor. List. A long list. Of a long list. So what I want from you is I want to be a puddle of sweat on the floor basically. Is that possible? That is, uh, that is easily achievable. Well, I mean, is that a reference to how <laughs> fit I am? Um, yeah, I think we're going get, to get you pretty uh, hot and sweaty. Uh, it's going to be a tough session. So it's, give it three or four minutes. Yeah, <laughs> especially with, um, obviously, the previous work you've done, so it's going to be grueling right. a little. Okay, fair enough. So cross trains the first one, then. Yep. Oh, this has got a big like, screen on it. So, it's because I, mean, I know you're used to the big screen. That's a fair point. I appreciate the sentiment there, but to be fair, give it a bit of time. Loose women will be on, so exactly. I can, yeah. we can tune in. Yeah. Yeah. Job done. Let's get on to it. <laughs> Let's go. Just going to do four minutes. Re resistance is going to be low, so it's just going to be nice and steady. Lovely. All right. So when you do this, this is one thing I'm always worried about because I know as cross trainer, you're supposed to use your arms and your yep. legs. So do you use your arms to power your legs, or do you use your legs to? So power you your want arms? to be using your legs predominantly, right? Um, but obviously, you want to be moving moving your arms as well, right? So some some people, when they only just want to focus on their legs, they will put their hands here, so then just using their legs. But I right. want you to. Warm up your whole body today. Okay. All Keep right. Going? Yeah, let's go. Go on. Gonna add a little bit of resistance. Too much. We're just doing four minutes, so I think we're good. It's nice and steady. There's an hour left on here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> See you in an hour. I work with a range of different drivers, some single seater, some uh, two seater. So obviously the conditioning varies slightly. Um, but a physical assessment is very similar. Right. Um, obviously, the only thing I'm doing a lot more with the single seater drivers is obviously neck. Um, obviously, the neck affects everyone, but single seat is a lot more. What's your race? 40 minutes. Yeah. Perfect. So I've done two laps. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a C1, so half a lap. Yeah. I hope you're getting some good shots of me. I think we need some like 80s montage music whilst we're doing this. Okay, rest, well done. Easy does it. Lovely. Right, just in time for the ad break, it's beautiful. Okay, next up we're going into our second phase of our warm up. We're just gonna be jumping on the rowing machine just to add a little bit of variation and also get his heart rate up all ready for our next bit. We're just gonna do some mobility work and some stretching. So strap myself in yep. for a wild ride then, yeah? Yeah. Right. Okay, just gonna do three minutes. Get that heart rate up. I did half an hour on one of these things once. Did you? I couldn't do anything after that. I couldn't, couldn't like lift anything halfway. I know it hurts now. Doing good. Hey, what resistance? Oh, you got it on 10. Small yeah. wonder. I normally had it on two. That's how I was able to do half an hour. Okay, just one minute to go. In fact, given the fact that I've employed people to be here today, I reckon what I should do is employ somebody to do the exercise for me as well. <laughs> yeah, but what about the race? You want to do that? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I've never looked so good. Feeling all right? Never felt better. <laughs> and rest. Oh, thank you that. Easy. Oh. Next up, we're going to do some stretching and mobility work. This is very, very important. A driver uses their core, so it's important that we see where Tom's at see what we can work on and how we can make some improvements. So this part is very important. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the first mobility exercise, all right? So we're gonna be in this position. Yep. Okay, and it's important when you do this that you get your body as straight as possible. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do opposite hand. 
opposite leg. So we're going to bring straight out and then touch and then straight out. It's nice to see how effortless you make it look. Like that. Yep, but what I want you to do is bring your arm out in front. Yeah. Oh, straight ahead. Yep, yeah, straight ahead. Okay. Better. Like Good. that. Yeah, that's two, three, four, five, six. Good. And two more, keep that arm up. 11, perfect. 12, excellent. And so 12 now, on the other side? Same on the other side, yeah. Not already, Jesus. Stop laughing. Cool. Perfect one. You'll find one side easier than the other. Yeah, okay. inevitably, because I've got a right side that's much more dominant than that's my left. It. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, shit. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Twelve. Easy. So I'll work that. Tough, isn't it? It is, yeah. Basic exercise, tough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, no, but some. Well, so next plan then. Okay, our next exercise. I think you're going to like it. Okay, we're going to do some glute bridges. Okay, so I'll just quickly demonstrate. You're going to be laying down, so nice and relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Easy. Nice. Okay, hands down. Mm -hmm. All we're going to be doing is lifting our hips off the ground. Right. Keeping our core nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Back down. Okay, as we come up, we're gonna have a little pause, just two seconds, and then back down. We're just right. gonna do 12 reps. That seems simple enough. See? Do that. Right. Easy. Good. I once had a massage in Australia, and I'm fairly sure all she did was just Ten. like walk on my back. It worked though, to be fair. I was like tension free for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. One more. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to progress that exercise. Okay, right. so you're going to stay in the same position, but yeah. I'll just quickly show you. Okay, so what you're going to be doing, you're mm. going to be here, but you're going to have one leg lifted. Right. Notice it's parallel to my other leg. Yeah, my legs okay. are already shaking. I've only had it up for two seconds. And all you're going to do is drop your hip down. Right. And then up. Okay, we're okay. just going to do 10 each side, and then we're going to change. Okay. I think yeah. two each side is going to be enough of that, but that's. Five, good, well done. I've got Rest. no muscle in my legs, can you tell? <laughs> oh, you're laughing at, honestly, that's a I did terribly in that. Tough, right? It's not tough, it's just not when, when you've got like the same muscle mass as a pipe cleaner, <laughs> it's quite tricky. <laughs> well done. Right. Okay, so next up we're doing our first exercise, which is gonna be a resistance exercise. So we're gonna be using some strength we're gonna see how strong Tom is and how we can utilize what we've got to do here. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a deadlift, okay? But we're gonna be using a trap bar, okay? So we, Tom's gonna to be in the middle of the bar, okay? It's gonna go down, it's gonna resist up, nice and strong, down, up. Let's see how he gets on with this. So what am I doing? So I've got okay. to, so I'm squatting down here. So positioning is, is vital for this exercise. Right. So your feet have gotta be shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart, straight? Or like yeah, a bit nice of an angle? Bit, okay, straight. So and then if I you're keep come down, up. grab the bar, up. Come nice back like that. Yep, yeah. like that. Then up, boom. Stand up. Leave your arms long. Okay. Good. Like that. Back, back down. Perfect. It doesn't have to touch the ground on the way down. Okay. So you can always just come down to here and right. then straight up. No. Excellent positioning. Like it. Two. Yeah, oh, bastard. Six. Seven. Eleven. Oh. One more. Good. Well done. Oh. <laughs> I bet you that in slow mo. It's awesome. Eleven. Twelve. Oh. Good job. Well done. It's the grunting competition in here now. <laughs> we are going to be doing a little bit of plyometric work. We're also going to be looking at Tom's explosive power. So we're going to see how he gets on and also how he can recover because we're going to be working a lot more high intensity. All we're going to do first off, we're just going to do a step up on the box. Just real nice and simple. We're going to be doing 
10 of these. Yeah. But to finish off, we're then going to be doing five jumps. Right. Let's go. Good. Two. Three. Never have we had more exciting or engaging content on this channel. <laughs> Down nice and low, nice and, okay, low. and then jump up, yep. feet onto the box. Feet onto the box. Any particular flat like a bird or just nice and nice and soft landing. Soft landing. So soft and whereabouts on your feet do you want to land? So what, on the balls oh. of your foot, like sort of that area. Yeah, try try and get all your, of your foot on the box. Right. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's a little bit hanging on. This is the problem I have, right, is going to the gym, is that I, I don't have any motivation to go yeah. to a gym because, I, I don't know, I just feel quite inferior. You see those blokes over there in the scary weight section pumping iron and eating protein bars by the bucket load. But if you notice, the sort of people that do that are spending more time looking at themselves in the mirror than actually training. I'm doing the same because I'm, I'm a ha what a handsome specimen of a man I am. Indeed, really. indeed. Yes. <laughs> Five. No, next one. Good. <sighs> Excellent. Grab yourself a drink, mate. <sighs> next up, I'm going to be adding a little bit of high intensity exercise into Tom's session just to see how he copes with higher intensity and also giving him time to recover and just to try and replicate some of the intensity he's going to be getting behind the wheel when he's driving. Right, I've been here before. This wasn't too bad last time. What's the plan this time? Um, well, so we, it's going to be a little bit different this time. So we'll only be going for two minutes, but I'm adding, we're going to be doing interval training. Ah. So we're going to be, be doing slightly higher intensity than slightly lower intensity, so. just to see how you recover. Higher and lower. Higher and lower. That worked higher than before. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, right, cue the music. Not that one, that one. We're going to do 20 seconds nice and steady, and then we're going to do 10 seconds high. Okay, high intensity, okay. all right? So this speed is fine. Okay, stand by. Three, two, one, go. Good. Use arms and legs, good. Keep going, keep going. Good, and slow it back down again. Complete your rest. <sighs> How was that? Lovely. Don't tell me we've got two more of those today. <laughs> we've got one more. Oh, f at the end of this, I'm going to be so rock and roll, I'm going to make Keith Moon look like Keith Chegwin. The next session we're going to work on, okay, we're going to be doing some pull ups. All right, this is also going to show Tom's forearm strength and how he can pull himself up. We're going to aim for 10 reps, but we're going to go for three sets. Okay, shall I quickly show you the pull-ups I want you to do? I'd love you to. Awesome. Right, so I want underarm grip, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So you hang nice and low. And Cross then... your legs and your feet, does that help? You don't have to, but I just like doing it. Okay, because I'm going to be hanging there like a monkey. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Stops you swinging as well. Does like it? Crossing your legs. I'll, yeah. I'll be swinging. Now, we're going to aim, go we're gonna aim for 10 reps. That would be the ultimate goal. But it doesn't matter if we only get five. I but know. we should at least get five. At least five... Possibly t 10 without coming off? Yeah. Oh, my arm's already hurting after that ski thing. Yeah, but you're going to be doing fine. 
I pull them in a little bit. A bit tighter. There you go. So I like that. Yep. Oh, I don't know, I'm already not looking forward nice to it. Nice and this. strong, you'll be fine. Strong? Have you met me? Can I get some clay on my hands? <laughs> can I get some gloves? <laughs> In fact, it's lunchtime. Can I, go for, can I go for lunch? No. And then come back? No. Right. Okay, when you're ready. Three. Oh, I'm ready. Two, one, go. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. Psyching yourself up for it. There's monkey bars there. Can I do those instead? No. I've just, I've just remembered I've got to go and um, paint my horse. Can I, can I go and do that? No. Oh. Right, okay. Fine. One. Two. Three. Uh, Keep going. Four. Uh, five. Uh, well done. Oh, well done. Oh, shit. I'm not sure if that... Not sure that's five or four and a half because you did jump up on the first one. It's got another set. Most anyone's ever believed in me, James. I think your body clean is stamped out on this. That's, that's well posh, isn't it? Yep. One. Two. Three. Deep breaths. Let's go. Four. Just one more. Five. Excellent. Good job, mate. Have a rest. Grab a drink. Oh, yeah, bastard. It just hurts. 97, 98, 99, 100, Whoa, 101, yeah, 100. <laughs> That'll Next up, we're gonna be looking at Tom's upper body strength. So we're gonna be doing some shoulder press. Okay, we're gonna be starting with some five kgs and we're gonna go for 12 reps, aim for three sets. Right. You're going to be in this position seated. Yeah. Okay, you're going to have dumbbells here and like you're that. going to bring them up. Yeah. Just bring them in together. Right. Back down. Just okay. real nice and steady. Ooh, there's Nothing quite... you can't handle. Like that. Yep. One. Good. <laughs> Two. Keep going. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Oh. Great, great job, well done. Next up, we're gonna be working on Tom's lower body. So we're gonna be doing some resistance training but focusing on his lower body. We're gonna be using the leg press because he's gonna be obviously hitting the accelerator hard, hitting the brake hard, so he needs to be able to utilize a fair amount of brake pressure. So we're gonna be trying to replicate that on the leg press. Strap yourself in. Strap myself in? Have you got seat belts? No. Right, so you just, you literally sat on the floor in this, didn't you? Yeah. Bloody hell, bloody hell. It's really It's like going up to space. Uh, Except there's bloody, what's that, 30 kilos? This is 30 kilos on its own. Oh, yep. Weight. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to make sure your feet are at, night, at shoulder width. Right. Okay, obviously resist the weight. Yeah. Push up, we're going to aim for 12 reps. I don't even know if I can actually bend myself into that area, mate, to be honest. Right. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good. How Good. far down? Uh, that's it. And then straighten the legs or not entirely? Do not always leave a slight bend. Just in case your knees go the other way. Yes. I've seen that happen. Easy, right? That's not too bad. Yeah. That was all right. Out of 10, 10 being really hard, one being easy. Uh, I'd say that's about a six. I thought it got quite a bit harder towards the end. Oh, okay. shit. So let's put a, f a, little, a few weights on. I'm what, 65 kilos now? Something like that, 63? What's yeah. 10 stone seven? 60, 63 is 10. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm 90. You're 90? Jesus.
course. Well, how do I get off of this? Pull yourself off. Pull the handle. How do you? Awesome. Oh, my trousers have ridden up. Next up, we're gonna be cooling down. We've been working, obviously, upper body, lower body, and some core stabilization, and now we're just gonna cool the body down into recovery. Deja vu being Deja back Deja vu, here. yep. And we've only got two minutes. Only two minutes? Yep. Oh, I can do two minutes. See? And the resistance is a lot lower. So much lower than they thought. So easy. It's not as good as my tarot, now. I can do a good tarot. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, welcome back to uh, Hills 3, a uh, millionaire. It's, uh, it's Chris Tarrant here, and uh, we've got James in for the £64,000 question. Uh, James, I've got a uh, question for you. Who wrote the song Basket Case? <laughs> Was it A, Green Day? Was it B, Stereophonics? Was it C, Nirvana? <laughs> or was it D, Catfish and the Bottleman? That's very good. Yeah. That's it, mate. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Right, so we've just finished up then here at the body clinic. James, um, what are you taking away from today? Because I think there's, since we saw each other last time, there's a few things that have gotten worse. Yeah, so um, the next step from here is obviously I'll create a conditioning program, um, a nutrition program, but also um, I'm gonna add a little sort of rehab program, um, just your lower back tension's increased, mm -hmm. your glutes and your quadriceps have sort of increased in tension, which I can only assume obviously you've been presenting but you've been sitting down a lot more yeah, working from home because you've been doing so it at home. Yeah. Um, so that's, we, we can see that a lot in your movement. Mm -hmm. So we need to really work on that um, just to make sure you're moving a lot better and you're moving a lot more efficiently. Right, and things like fitness, obviously, you know, exercise, et cetera, is obviously really important. But what about nutrition? How are we going to be looking at mixing that up? Because, again, I think like a lot of people during lockdown, diet kind of went out the window a little yeah, bit, yeah. you know, a few more snacks in the cupboard where you sat at home a bit more. Yeah, a few more drinks at home. But yeah, yeah so nutrition is, is a massive part of what, what we do when we condition an athlete um, is it's basically race fuel. So it's so eating well as well as training well, um, because you can train six days a week, but if you're not putting the right fuel in your body, it, you're not gonna be able to perform to your ultimate level. Also, you need to work on hydration, making sure they've got the right macronutrients going in just so they're performing perfectly. Nice one. Right, James, thank you so much for today, mate. No problem. Really appreciate it. Always good to see how we get on and let's see what fitness we can achieve and how we can make it better and hopefully it will be a little bit better for uh, the time we get out in the race car in whatever it is, October or something like that is yep. the plan. So with a bit of luck, we'll be fit and ready to go and we'll be, uh, I guess, like Jensen Button or something. Race ready. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what more could you want? Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining us on this episode of Make Me a Racing Driver. I hope it's been as insightful to you as it has to me. And with a bit of luck, we'll be a bit quicker next time we're out in a race car and hopefully a lot fitter as well anyway if you'd like to see more content from the series then click on james's face over here if you would like to subscribe click on up here but for now we'll see you next time <laughs>